Hi everyone, I'm your mentor Devanshu and I welcome you all to the reports and indices session on EduTap. And guys, today the topic of the discussion is Food Waste Index Report 2021. And guys, we all know that reports and indices are very much important when it comes to the NABARD, RBI and SEBI exams. And in the past year exams as well, we have seen questions coming from the reports and indices in the phase 1 as well as phase 2 of these exams. And guys, that is the reason why we are discussing the reports and indices. And guys, if you are new to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the videos and courses offered by us and you can also join our telegram channel in order to get the access to the pdf of the lectures we are also running the daily exam booster series in which the general awareness series is being taken by Ritika Rehal ma'am ESA current affairs series being taken by Gurkira sir and reports and indices being taken by myself now guys let's move on to the session let's get started so guys recently a Nairobi based international organization that is United Nations Environment Program in collaboration with Waste and Resources Action Program has released the Food Waste Index Report 20 21 and guys if you talk about this index then it sheds light on the magnitude of food waste generated as well as the prevalence of the household food waste generation in all continents irrespective of the country's income level and guys this particular index also provides methodology to measure the food waste at three levels let's discuss the three levels one by one so guys here the first level is the retail so guys retail are those known specialized stores where food and beverages are being sold if you talk about the household that is the second sector these are our sweet homes and guys the third one is the food services so these are those settings where a substantial amount of food is being cooked and consumed by people so guys the example of it can be the hotel restaurant or school children dormitory or the hostel mess guys this index also tracks the national progress towards the food waste generation and towards the target of 2030 and guys it also reports on the sustainable development goals target number 12.3 now guys you are required to tell me in the comment section below that what exactly is the third target of the sustainable development goal number 12 now okay, let's discuss that to expert this index what exactly is the definition of food waste so guys according to this index food is any substance which is intended for human consumption and guys if you talk about the food waste then it is defined as of food and the associated inedible parts which are being removed from the human food supply chain in the following sectors and these sectors are retail food service and households now guys if we talk about the destination of this removed food from the human food supply chain then it is the litter as well as landfills and sewages and guys if we talk about the food waste that it includes both edible part as well as the inedible parts and guys the edible parts are comprises of that components of the food which are intended for human consumption and guys if you talk about the inedible parts then it comprises that component of the food which is not intended for human consumptions and guys the example of it are bones rings and stones now guys let's move on to the methodology used by the index in order to track the data of the nations now guys this particular index uses the three level approach in which when we increase the levels the accuracy of these levels the accuracy of the data also increases and guys let's discuss them one by one so if we talk about the level one then guys level one uses the modeling technique in order to find out the estimates of the food waste generated in a nation and guys, this particular level is being used in those countries where yet not any particular technique has been introduced in order to measure the food waste generated that's why we take data from other countries and extrapolate it in order to find out the estimates of the given country and okay, this is the reason this particular data only provides the approximate estimates and that's why it is not suitable for tracking purposes and guys if you talk about the level 2 then it is the recommended approach as per the index because it uses robust methodologies in order to track the actual food waste generated in the nation and guys under this national studies are being taken in order to track the national food waste generation levels and guys that's why it produces a direct measurement of the food waste and so it is sufficiently accurate for the tracking purposes of food waste generation in the national level and guys if you talk about the third level that is the level 3 it is used to inform the policy and other interventions as it comprises of additional information and disaggregated data which can be directly related to the edible part or the manufactured food loss or it can be another specific part so guys that's why it gives us a minute details about some specific parameters and guys, that's why it is very much good and it supports the development of food waste prevention strategy so guys that's why the level 3 helps in preventing the food waste generation okay now guys this particular index uses 152 food waste data points 
from 154 countries and then extrapolate the data to remaining countries and if you talk about these 152 food waste data points these are being classified in four categories guys first one is the high confidence estimate second is the medium high confidence estimate third one is the low confidence estimate and last one is a very low confidence estimate and guys if you talk about the high confidence estimate then this particular estimate is very very direct in measurement and that's why it is sufficiently accurate for the tracking purposes and guys if you talk about the medium confidence estimate then under this some the techniques used are can be used in order to detect the larger changes for example a data for of the city can be used to represent a country and guys where extrapolation is being done on the good regional data it is referred to as the low confidence estimates and where extrapolation is done but with the limited regional data it is referred to as a very low confidence estimates and guys if we talk about the India then India's estimates are being referred to as the medium confidence estimates as per this index so guys kindly mark star here because this can be asked in the exam so guys now let us move on to the key findings of the index as we have already discussed at what exactly were the releasing body as well as the methodology used by index and what were the different parameters the different levels used to track the nation's data okay now according to the index out of the 5.3 billion tons of food generated in the year 2019 around 931 million ton of food was has been uh, around 931 million tons of food waste was generated in year 2019 and guys this particular value that is a 931 million tons it is equal to the 17 percent of the global food production and guys hence the result it leads to the 690 million people going hungry to the bed at the end of the day so this shows that if a hundred units of food is being generated in one year then out of 100 17 units of food waste is being generated in the year 2019 and guys this is a very serious cause of concern for all over the world and guys if you talk about the sector wise contribution then here we can see that if 121 kg per capita year food waste generated in one year then out of that 74 units are being generated by households food services 32 and retail generates food waste 15 units this shows that household has a major contribution in generating the food waste all over the world and guys from this part also we can say that 61 percent of the food waste is being generated by households 26 percent by food services and 13 percent by retail and guys if you talk about the global food production terms then we can say that food waste generated by household is 11 percent and food waste generated by food services are 5 percent and retail 2 percent for and guys we can calculate it with the help of an example let's just say that 100 units are being produced in one year then 11 percent of this 100 percent is being generated food waste by the households the 5 percent by the food services and 2 percent by the retail okay now if you talk about the top five global nations which are producing the highest food waste generations then guys nigeria is a country which is which has got the highest numbers that is it has the worst condition if you talk about the food waste generation because it generates 189 kg per capita per year of food waste so guys this is a very cause of very serious cause of concern for nigeria as well followed by rwanda greece bahrain and malta now guys if you talk about other key findings then it shows that in the earlier narratives it was said that household food waste generation was only was mainly in the developed countries but this particular index shows that household waste generation in all the three income countries that is the high income countries upper middle income countries and lower middle income countries are almost same and that shows that household waste generation in all these three income countries are equivalent and equally relevant actions are required to be taken in order to mitigate the issue of food waste generation and guys if you talk about the availability of data in all the three sectors then it was only available for the high income countries and it was not available for the upper middle income countries and lower middle income countries when we talk about the two sectors that is food service as well as the retail and if you talk about the low income countries then it was having a insufficient data in all the three sectors so guys it was really impossible to estimate the data in all these three th sectors in the low income countries and guys as we have seen that 17 percent of the food waste is being generated as as a food waste 
then it also causes economic losses and guys all over the world 940 billion per 940 billion dollar per year is the economic losses suffered by the world in one year and guys it also leads to the 8 to 10 percent of the global greenhouse gas emissions which are associated with the food that is not consumed so guys with this we can say that the food waste generated are negatively impacting the social as well as economic as well as climate perspective because 690 million people are going to are going hungry at the end of the day to the bed and guys we are also have major economic losses due to the food waste generation and we are also having a climate negatively affected climate because of the 8 to 10 percent of additional global greenhouse gas emissions which are associated with the food that is not consumed so guys if you talk about the india specific findings and as per the index India has a in India the per capita food wastage is 50 kg per year at the household level and guys according to the index India generates 68.76 lakhs tons of food waste every year so guys please mark star here because these particular values are very very important from the exam point of view because it is related this particular data is related to the India and guys it is very much important from the exam point of view and guys if we compare India's performance with the other South Asian nations then we can see that India has performed the best when we compare its performance with the other South Asian countries because other South Asian countries generates more food waste than India and guys the numbers are here as we can see that Bangladesh has recorded 65 kg per year of food waste Maldives is producing 71 kg per year of food waste followed by Pakistan Sri Lanka Nepal Bhutan and Afghanistan and all are generating 70 kg plus food waste every year and guys now let's come to the most important one of the most important parameter of the reports that is the recommendation and guys if we talk about the recommendations then this particular index recommends the formation of regional waste groups in the various continents in order to mitigate the issue of food waste generation and guys it also recommends the adoption of game changing solutions to food waste through the United Nations Food Waste System Summit and guys it also recommends the nations it also urges the countries to enhance its nationally determined contributions for food waste so guys you can quickly go through all these points comprehensively because this particular recommendation part will be very helpful when you will be answering the descriptive questions in the exam so guys now let us move on to the small MCQ series through which we will be revising the session whatever we have discussed in the whole session so guys the first question of the series is here on your screen so the first question says which among the following organization has recently released the food waste index report 2021 and guys please answer the question in the comment section below the options are united nation environment program food and agriculture organization waste and resource action program both UNEP and WRAP, both FAO and WRAP. So guys, the right answer to the question is option D, that is both UNEP and WRAP. So see guys, always we see these kind of questions from the releasing body, that is the very first parameter which we always discuss when we are discussing the reports and indices. So guys, now let's move on to the second question of the day. Second question is, as per the recently released food waste index report 2021 what is the amount of food which was wasted globally in year 2019 so guys you are required to tell me the amount of food which was wasted globally in year 2019 so guys kindly answer the question in the comment section below the options are 931 million tons 730 million tons 831 million tons 881 million tons and 981 million tons so guys this question comes from the very important finding from the global specific findings and guys the right answer is option a that is 931 million ton now guys let's move on to the third question and third question is as per the food waste index report 2021 three levels of food waste is mentioned that is household food services and retail now tell me that what exactly is the contribution of each level in the food waste respectively so guys we have discussed the contribution of each level now answer the question in the comment section below and guys the right answer to the question is option a that is the 20 61% 26% and 13% so guys now let us move on to the googly question and guys now let us see that how many of you are going to lose your wicket or how many of you are going to hit a cracking shot and the question is here on your screen which among the following organization has recently released the India tuberculosis report 2021 so guys see these kind of questions are always being asked in the exam and this particular question is once again from the releasing body itself 
So guys, the options of the questions are Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, World Health Organization, Niti Aayog, Indian Council of Medical Research and option E is none of the above. So guys, please answer the question in the comment section below. And guys, the right answer to the question is option A that is the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So guys, this ministry has recently released the India Tuberculosis Report 2021. Okay, so guys, now let's move on to the next question from the session. The question is, as per the recently released Food Waste Index Report 2021, what is the amount of average food waste that is generated in India in kg per capita per year? And guys, this particular question is very, very, very important from the exam point of view because it is asking the data which is related to India and that is very, very important from the exam point of view. So guys, please answer the question in the comment section below. The options are 40, 50, 60, 80 and 70 per kg, 70 kg per capita per year. And guys, the right answer to the question is option B that is 50. So guys, we have discussed in the session that in India, the food waste generated is 50 kg per capita per year. Now guys, let's move on to the next question of the series. And the question is, which of the following statement is wrong as per the recently released Food Waste Index Report 2021? And guys, please quickly go through all the statements given in the options and answer the question in the comment section below. See, here the keyword is the wrong. That is, you are required to tell me the wrong statement as per the, as per the Food Waste Index Report 2021. And guys, the right answer to the question is, Option C, that is the index was generated by capturing the data from all the countries regarding the food waste. So guys, we all know that the data was taken from 54 countries and then it was extrapolated to other countries. So that's why here the option C becomes wrong and option C is the right answer to the question. So guys, now let us move on to the homework question of today's session. That is, which among the following country has secured the first rank as per the recently released Index of Economic Freedom? So guys, the options are Norway, New Zealand, Ireland, Singapore and Hong Kong. And guys, I am going to answer this particular question in the next session. And guys, if you talk about the homework question of the previous lecture, then the question was, which among the following organizations has recently released the report, the future of cybersecurity in Asia Pacific and Japan survey? And guys, the right answer to the question was Sophos and Tech Research Asia. So guys, both Sophos and Tech Research Asia have together joined, re jointly released the report that is the future of security cyber security in asia pacific and japan survey so guys if you talk about the star performers of the last session then i am really really happy to see that you all of you are participating in the comment section below by answering the questions and guys today's star performers are saranya and surya teja angel mary and azan hussein so guys congratulations to all of you for answering correctly in the session and guys if you also want your name to be here in the star performer section in the next session then please answer the question in the comment section below now guys i hope that the particular session was very much fruitful and useful to all of you but still if you have any query related to the exam then you can drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in and you can also call us at 814-620-7241 so guys now i will meet you in the next session till then stay happy stay healthy wish you all happy learning